Hey guys, it's HPP, and we're back for Wind Waker Part 27 or something. Alright, so you can see we're on the item screen. So let's, um, what are we doing here? Well, let's put our bow out, because we got to deal with something scary. See this big, scary, freaking cyclone right here? We're going to go right into it. It's a scary frog. Foolish creature who does not fear the gods. To the end of the sea with you. Let the winds of Cyclos' wrath blow you away. Okay, well, see this douche face? We have to kick his ass. Ooh. Yes, and we got him. He got hit him three times with the bow. I was probably more accurate than I thought I was, and he calms down. I remember a certain frog told us to find somebody named Cyclops. He's huge! Oh my god! That's a heck of an arm you've got there. No, he's not huge anymore. And what an eye! No one's ever been able to spot me in there before now. You obviously have mastery of the air. And now that we've established that you're quite the Wind Waker, let's see if you can handle this. Okay, what are you gonna show us, bro? Okay, downright. Left up. Okay, down, right, left up. What we got for that? Oh, the voice hurts. <coughs> you learn the Battle of the Gales. Best song ever. Wahoo! Oh my god. In the hands of the Wind Waker like you, my adorable little cyclones will be as happy as can be. Oh. Oh god. If you need to move like the wind over the ocean deeps, just call on my cyclones. Well, I guess I'll head home now. See you on the road. <laughs> and he goes away all happy too. Okay. So, now that we have that, there's something we gotta do. Let's try it out. Down. Right. I did it wrong. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, hold on. Let me check that. What is it? Instead of my stupid self forgetting it. Down, right, left, up. Wasn't I doing that? Well, then I did that. I guess I didn't really do it. Okay, so this song will, once used, give us this. Which gives us a blank map of the Great Sea, because I really need to fill that out. And will also give us all of these places. These places are warps. There's the Tower of the Gods. There's Outset down there. Um, these two things, I forget what those are. That's Tingle Island. Um, Windfall, Dragon Roost, I think that's Great Fish, and this one, which we need to go to. What is this one? Well, this song allows us to get into a place on this island that we were not, would not have ever been able to get in without this song. The cyclone carries us away in an awesome way, and we end up here. Where is here? Well, you're about to find out. Young Waker of the Winds, how did you manage to find this place? I am the Queen of the Fairy World. I have been awaiting your arrival. But now is not yet the time for us to meet. You still have many challenges to overcome. You seek to protect individuals. Oh, we can't do it yet? Another in this world whom you must protect. Again, when you have met that individual. Oh, well, that's. You stupid game. Okay, well, it looks like I was right. There are things we need to do. Um. Okay, well, I guess we will be starting Forsaken Fortress in this video. I hadn't actually planned on doing that, but I probably should have looked up the whether we could be here yet. So, I will cut to getting close to the Forsaken Fortress. I will see you guys then. Cutting from here so you don't have to watch the song again, and I will be right outside the Forsaken Fortress before the cutscene's starting all that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, see ya. Hey guys, it's HPP, and we're almost to the Forsaken Fortress. Real quick, I wanted to check and make sure, because I actually forgot when we got it, to check the most recent treasure chart we got, which is treasure chart 30. I will put that up in the annotation when we actually got the treasure chart, which is in part 24. So let's open it up. Ah, uh, that island looks like a paw print. We will probably be going there later. What are we talking about? Probably be going there later. We will be going there later. Alright, let's head over to the Forsaken Fortress, see if we can start some cutscenes up in this here. Up in this here place. If not, I will probably cut to that. Shouldn't take very long. It's just sailing. 
just mindless sailing from one place to another. You know, because we're on a boat and that boat is currently moving, and the boat is going to be moving at approximately the speed that we are currently moving, trying to get to this rather scary island as the sun rises. Yes, yes, indeed. This time, hopefully, because we're going back to the Forsaken Fortress, maybe we can hold on to our shit. Because, I mean, last time, you, you just remember what happened last time. And it's kind of interesting to see it as daytime, and it instantly becomes nighttime. Did anyone see that? It instantly became nighttime. Like, it's not allowed to be daytime here. The Forsaken Fortress is like, nah, bitch. Nah, bitch, nah, daytime. Stupid daytime. Oh. And I think they're bombing us. That is not cool. Um, okay, well, let's turn and go in. Not there, that's not a door, that's a stupid place. Up, up, turning, turning, turning. Okay, so, no, King, slow down. Okay, we're now at this door, see? See this huge door right here? Well, see those things? Those are bombs. <gasps> What does it make sense we have to do with this door without getting knocked out of our boat? What? Did you see that? The bombs just knocked open the door. The bomb just... They, they shot open their own door. Thank you for opening the door for me, game. I was gonna do it myself, but I mean, if you really, really, really wanted to... Okay. There we go. Now the king takes over and carries his stupid self to the door. Ganon has likely been made aware of our little incursion already. But you have the Master Sword. That sword shall shine in the darkness, casting back evil. With it in your hands, none can keep you from, from rescuing your sister. Do not be afraid. Okay, I won't. Because now I have my sword, instead of dropping my sword and having to be afraid of these spotlights, which now shoot bombs. Instead of, like, other stuff. Oh, uh, that's never good. What in the hell? That thing is creepy. Creepy. Uh oh. Okay, so let's do some awesome shit. Oh crap. I was not prepared for that at all. Okay, now we go. Let's do this. Yeah, boss. I got you. Got you, dog. Uh oh. Okay. okay so let's keep targeting him. He's just gonna do that. That dance around us like some sort of a fool. Oh, that was too close. That was not far enough away to make this logical. And again, I'm rebounding his magical energy with a sword. And he is also rebounding. Some of these don't look like they're actually... I actually should be, like, parrying them. But, whatever, I'm just gonna go with it. Let's start again. Let's play baseball then. Okay. Ah, got you. Yeah, we got you, son. Strange, shadowy, whatever you are. Another one? Really? Oh, he just disappears. So. I think he was just taunting us there by explaining that there's pretty much no way to kill him, and he disappears all creepily and the door opens. Okay, good. Are all the doors open? And chest! Treasure chest! Fun treasure chest! Spiky treasure chest! Means something cool is inside! Oh my god, did you hear that? Okay, so let's open the door. I mean chest. Sorry, I was distracted by that stupid creepy noise. And we got the skull hammer! The skull hammer's awesome, it can break things and pound obstacles, yes, yes, skull hammer. Oh dear god, please go away, mini villains, please go away, you are creepy and I don't like you. Uh oh, okay, so those things are just going to keep coming, so we need to not deal with that right now, and just go in this door. And there's a mouse with a bomb. Okay, so you got these little things, see? And we can take this and whack down the things. Man, you are no match for me, Moblin. You are you're so fat, dog. Oh, I got the Master Sword. Let's go. Let's go. I will kill you. I will kill you. I will kill you. So dead. I hope there's a Dark Knot in here. It'd be nice to get the other thing off of the Dark Knot. But I don't think there's a Dark Knot in here. 
Dark Nuts are too cool for this place. The Master Sword kills Moblins really easily. I really, really like that that happens. That is good. And shine. Oh! He just burned himself. Okay, well, let's kill all the Moblins. Kill them dead until there are no longer any Moblins. Because then there wouldn't be any Moblins and they wouldn't be causing any problems and we'd be done because there wouldn't be any Moblins. Um, what is this mess? Oh, this is that... No, this is not a room I am familiar with. Or is it? Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, I forgot about that. Oh, jeez. Okay. Those are floor masters. They will grab you and take you back to the entrance if they grab you. That is not good. You do not want them to grab you. So if they, by any chance, actually grab you, then friggin' like hit them or try as hard as you can to not get hurt by them because they're evil. Like super extra caffeine evil. Uh, what is that mess? Why are you doing stuff? Please go away, Mr. Turret. I'm also curious what's in these beds, so let's see if there's anything in these beds. Or anything up here. Is there anything of value up here? No. However, there is a door that we can most likely cross. There is not a way to get up there. Okay, well let's put our leaf on, as I think we can jump off of this and use the leaf to fly over here. You know what? You, dog. Okay. Let's get hearts. And use our mighty skull hammer to knock down these things. You can actually target them, but I'm too much of a bitch. Okay. So we're in the Forsaken Fortress now. And... Nothing else gets on our ass. Uh, we probably need to knock the searchlights out again, because that one is going to be looking at the place we need to go. Yeah, that one over there. That would cause problems. Because if we don't get that one, then we don't do anything. Oof. And I don't remember. I think it's this way. No, it's not this way. Or is it? Man, stupid fire. Stupid moblins. Ugh. Why don't you die? Good mama. Okay. So, yeah, let's go get all these rupees and these skull necklaces. We do need all these skull necklaces we're getting. I don't remember exactly how many we need, but I think we have enough as is. Actually, for what we need to do with them anyway. That, that one just fell down there. Not a, not a chance of getting that. Okay, let's go up here. Because if I remember right, we need to be up here. Actually, wait a minute. We need to get rid of that one spotlight first. And there's mini blends up here. Go away! I don't like you. No one likes you. That's why you're the mini blends. Because no one likes you. You're the ones that they all, like, frown on or look down on because you're the small, annoying ones. I bet it, like, the... Ganon's henchman meetings, you're always the ones that arrive late or in the back because no one wants to talk to you. Um... Oh, I already have the skull hammer on. Of course I already have the skull hammer on. I'm just dumb. Awesome doodle! Oh god! Oh god! Stupid wind. I'll show you wind. You are my master, or I am the master of you. I don't actually think I can get back up there now. Um. Okay, let's make it go that way. Because then I think, if the wind is on our side, we can cheat. So let's cheat out. Let's cheat. Yeah, take that. I don't have time for your nonsense, dog. Oh. Do not have time to disable your searchlights. That's probably what I was supposed to do anyway. Because it seems stupid to have to go back and 
return off the searchlights. Nobody, especially people watching Let's Play, no one wants to do that. Uh oh. Okay, let's knock this down. And that opens that door. Or does it? Yeah, it actually does. Okay. So let's open the door. Instead of getting hoit. Alright. Let me open the door and cutscene time. Probably should have ended the part there. I will end the part after this cutscene. Not that there. I mean, I didn't know anything. Big Brother. Actually, I'm going to end the cutscene right now after this touching reunion, or end the part now after this touching reunion. We will continue in the next part and see what happens. Good day.